How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Bit of a different type of video today, but it's definitely an important topic that I'd love to talk about because it's it's positive for the future of Horizon 5 and future Horizon games. It's all good stuff and we all like talking about good stuff, good news. You know what I mean. It's all, it's all great to talk about. Basically, why I think the future for Horizon 5 looks good, better than it ever has, and Horizon 6 might just be an extremely big jump from Horizon 5. At least, that's what I hope. Obviously, as you know, every month we get a Forza monthly live stream and also a Let's Go live stream, which tells us about every update that's coming next. Well, the last one we got was the Explore the Horizon update just a couple of weeks ago. Within that live stream, Torben took a little bit of time. He had his own little section to talk to us about how they are really appreciating all of the latest feedback that they've gotten over the last couple of updates. Actually, I just want to take an opportunity to just acknowledge the great reception we've seen to the recent updates, particularly the last two, Midnight Set Horizon and High Performance. Every four weeks, there's just such a buzz around the studios. We announce the upcoming series outwardly to all of you, the players, and, and we all cluster around and read the comments and look at the reactions. And it's just been really great to see how much you've been enjoying the most recent updates. And we're working really hard to keep this momentum going for future series and really listening to the feedback that you share with us to make a live program that is, that is doing what you want and, and what we want to bring to you. So obviously not every update is going to speak to every player personally, but our focus is to create features and content that are going to be enjoyed by the community as a whole. And we focus on the changes and the updates you want to see to existing features, as well as just doing our best to make sure that Mexico continues to evolve and just be an exciting place to come back to and play in. So please, please continue to share your opinions and your feedback. Thank you for using the Suggestion Hub. I'm on there all the time looking at it. Vote for your cars, vote for features, because all of that feeds back in and it helps us make these decisions for the things that you really want to see. Interesting. Now, very quickly, I've got to remind you all, if you enjoy these type of videos, please do consider subscribing. You won't miss anything like this knowledgeable update information early we all like that kind of stuff so make sure to subscribe he acknowledges that he knows that most of the community myself included and probably a lot of you guys agree that the past few updates have actually been quite good you know we had the midnight horizon a couple of months ago we had the high performance update last month we have the explore the horizon update right now and we have the upgrade heroes update or donut media update next month or this month i suppose at the end of this month I would say those are three pretty damn good updates. A good theme, lots of good features. They all have some quite good highlightable cars as well. And we can't say that about every update we've had this year and last year. So that is all very good. And it's good to see Torben go into details about how they appreciate this. They are listening to this. They are aware that the community prefers these updates to what we may have had last year. You know, the occasional poor update, let's say. Now he does have to remind us that not every update will cater to everyone. There will be certain updates that a lot of people don't like. There will be certain updates that a lot of people do like. There's different parts of the community. And unfortunately, and unfortunately, I still do believe that us, you, you viewers watching, you Forza players, anybody who's watching this really, we are part of the minority. There is a huge portion of Forza Horizon 5 players that just never watch YouTube, never complain about updates because it's just a casual game for them. We need to remember that Forza Horizon 5 is on Game Pass and Game Pass is huge. I can imagine there are probably more regular Game Pass Horizon 5 players than there are players like us who get really deep dive into the updates, expect the updates every month and you know want more and more and more this is the main reason i think we often don't get what we ask for or at least it seems that way but it seems that they are trying to get to a point where they can cater to what all of us want while keeping the game going on game pass and keeping all them small updates that not everyone cares about going now he does shed light on the suggestions hub and the troubleshooting hub now mainly the suggestions hub because the suggestions hub is where all of their ideas come from let's say hypothetically i was to go on the suggestions hub and create a suggestion where we should be able to buy garages within the horizon 5 map and able to put our cars upgraded on display and you can visit your friends garages similar to gta 5 for example if i was to suggest that and let's say it got 10,000 votes and it was at the top of the list 
it's obvious that they are going to want to do everything they can to get that to the game. That's the whole point of the suggestion tool. If they see an extremely highly suggested feature, why wouldn't they try and do it? There will be some things they just can't do. They might not have the, um, the technology to do it, they might have time to do it or the capabilities to do it. But if there is anything that they are able to physically do, if it's being suggested, they're obviously going to try and do it, which is why the suggestion tool is the most important thing that Playground Games has done ever in my opinion it is the connection between us and them the most important connection and i believe that this is a very very important step towards horizon 6 as well because as i said there may be things on the suggestion sub that they are just simply not able to do so obviously they're not going to be able to do that but there's no reason that they can't think hmm players really want this let's say window stickers players really want window stickers but we can't do that in horizon 5 we just don't have the capabilities for it but we're building forza horizon 6 right now let's try and get it in that because it's obviously highly requested it's obvious that forza horizon 6 is probably being developed right now it may be in very early stages and if it is in early stages good that means that they have plenty of time to adapt to this stuff that we want so if there is any time to get these suggestions in for not only Horizon 5 but Horizon 6 to really set it in stone now as to what we want as a player base, now is the time to do it. We've heard from Torben himself that they are listening, this is where they like to go and they are really happy with the feedback that we've been giving them. If you look over the past few months of updates, the photo mode update, the night mode update, these are all things that were suggested on the suggestions hub. They've obviously listened to that and they've obviously done it. So why aren't they going to keep doing it? They're happy, we're happy, everything's fantastic. So that's why I think the future of Horizon 5 is going to be pretty positive with the updates because they're trying to focus on what we're suggesting, which is what we've been asking for for ages. We've not seen many signs of it until lately. I do want to touch on something else though because I see a lot about this and I want to sort of make my opinion on it known. Mike Brown, the creative director of Horizon 5 or at least the ex-creative director, left a few months ago as you may remember to go make his own game studio. Fair enough, I support it completely. There was actually quite a few other Playground Games developers that left at the same time. Now I've seen a lot of people say that it is because of them leaving the updates in Horizon 5 have now improved. I disagree entirely. I think Mike Brown and everyone else leaving has had no say on what updates we've recently gotten because it's just too quick. It takes a long time for these guys to develop each update. There's no way that Mike Brown and everyone left and everyone thought, right, we can do what we want no to now. We can listen to everyone. Let's do these updates. It would have just, it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. These updates are set months in advance. I think it's just partly coincidental. I wanted to show you guys what Torben said, because if you're still into Horizon 5, you still have hope for it. It's certainly not a bad thing to keep having get on the suggestion sub i'll have it linked down below at the top of the description i'll have it in there 10 times i don't care please use it let me know your opinion on all this in the comment section below and i'll see you all later